to wing his way past another Hall of Famer, Johnny Petraglia. Five versus four. Up the ladder. He's got to go again. Polisi doesn't feel a lot of pressure. Let's see as that starts to crank up later in the match. On his tough lane, trips the four, but the nine doesn't fall. Mark's been making adjustments on lane 12. The first, first shot, he left the, the half 10 pin. Then he left the 248 when he came in light. And tightened up the line and leaves the ninth pin. Still fishing on the right hand lane. First, third, and fifth strikes for Roth. Now goes the nine, picks up another spear. Today, Indy 500 winner, Elio Castro Nevis, tries to make it two in a row as the CART FedEx Series rolls into Portland, Oregon. For the CART Portland 200 today at 4 o'clock Eastern here on ESPN. So we go from great bowling to great racing in your neck of the woods. 275 miles due north on I-5 up to Portland. I'll love to see it, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to make it from here up to there before they're all done. They get those 200 miles done in a hurry. And now the four pin on the left-hand lane, and you can see the look of concern. He's just not dialed in. These games go by so quickly, Dave. Here we are in the seventh frame. Roth yet to get a double. Go well in the match, but uh, we're going to need to figure out these lanes in a hurry. 229 max right now for him. It's shrinking. Without the strike ball. Voted the all-time best strike ball on the PBA.com online. Well, it doesn't come too much closer than that. Actually, Roth with a possible 229, and Petraglia a possible 258, but... That's predicated on the Craglia continuing to strike. Sport calling developed by the ABC and WIBC offers bowlers the chance to compete on the most challenging of lane condition. The PBA is an active supporter of this program. Coming up this fall, you can step up to the challenge by signing up for a sport bowling league at a center near you. He bowled on the sport bowling condition last week at the ABC Masters. Parker Bowling winning his first major against hard luck Jason Couch left that solid nine in the ninth frame. Sudden death roll off for Bob Glass last week. That was Glenn Falls win in Oregon for Petraglia last week. Big drama for him. In the pocket. Three strikes in a row for Petraglia taking command of this match, Dave. Speed control so important for Petraglia. Got to stay slow enough because he's really hooking the lane, throwing the ball well to the left and bringing it back hard into the pocket. Seventh and last one to fall. 258 max for him. Here comes Roth in need of a rally. Good start. Well, certainly the best shot on the right hand lane for Marks. Now, if Mark can strike here in the ninth frame, it would set up him at a still a 229 pace, and it would force Petraglia to either strike in the ninth frame and spare or you get a couple strikes in the 10th frame. So mathematically, Roth still in the net. Exactly. Excuse me, looking, looking rather relaxed right now. For good reason, 29-10 lead. Oh, didn't like the release. Hung on his hand, leads the 5-pin. He's looking off to the right. I don't know if he was distracted. Certainly had problems. Watch the release. As he gets to, gets to the bottom of the swing, he hangs up in the ball. The ball goes further up. Instead of out on the lane, it actually goes up into the air. He's looking down. And major problem for Mark Roth. Pick up five pin. Raises it. Another spare, but now 209. Max score, 258. That's the possibility still for Johnny Petraglia. Yeah, for Petraglia, just any kind of a mark here in the, in the ninth frame would all but sew up his first game. That's the best time. Puts out the sixth pin. You know, I talked with Petraglia and Rob prior to the telecast. 
and they both to a man said if they had to lose to somebody you know one of, it wouldn't be too bad there's Petraglia on the right lane, lane 12, stuck a little at the foul line, ball's creeping in high, gets the friendly roll of the six pin. I think he enjoyed this one. That ought to do it. Take it gladly. Great shape to wrap up the match. The roll continues for him. And a Five place. straight strikes. And Petraglia right now just trying to keep the momentum going. He's got another match to bowl. Hopefully he's, he wants to bowl three more matches. And you know, as the only southpaw in our field today, nobody's going to be messing with his side of the lane. So uh, he could get on a roll and stay on. So Johnny Petraglia will advance up the ladder. Bob Chamberlain from Auburn Hills, Michigan awaits him. Petraglia takes it over Mark Roth.